Hi. Um, this is an amazing moment to see all of you here. It's been a long time coming uh, for this vision to come true. Um, I'm going to start with just a personal story. I am a child of war and revolution. I was born in Iran, and I lost my nation to the Islamic regime uh, in 1979. Um, last year, we, we saw our young women protesting bravely for their freedom. Um, and I had to do something, and I reached out to Elon, who's a dear friend, because I was the founder of Hyperloop. Um, and I was able to get Starlinks smuggled into Iran to the women to be able to communicate with the world without the government being able to block it. It's one small step for me to do something like that, but it's a signal of what we all notice right now in our world. The nation state as it exists um, for citizenry, who are the consumers of the nation state, is not relevant anymore. Um, the, many of our, our nation states are being run by gangs. They're being run by dictators. They're being run by corrupt politicians. It's time for something new. It's time for the network state. Um, in 2012, just a little history, I had lunch with uh, Joe Lonsdale and proposed this idea of building private new city-states. Um, and Balaji and I became dear friends, and I've watched him give birth to this movement. And I just want to say, and maybe we all say, a, a great thank you to Balaji for starting this movement. So my day job is as an entrepreneur and venture capitalist. I started a venture studio and fund called Edison Alpha. And I've been working for years on basically proving that this idea of network states can work in the physical world. Uh, at Uber, uh, I was an early board member and investor. And what we called it was we're, do we're basically doing atoms and bits. It's the physical and the digital combined together in synchronicity. And what this is, is the idea of let's build a completely new, new city. Um, and I've spent many years uh, working on two different projects. I'm going to talk about one of them in detail today. Um, uh, and I call this concept Smart Islands. So there's an island called Norman's Key uh, in the Bahamas. It used to be owned by Pablo Escobar, speaking of uh, gangsters. Um, and the good thing that Pablo did is he built an airport to the right <laughs> uh, for his drug running operation. Um, and this is how he got all the cocaine into America. Um, it's, uh, it's quite a, one of the most beautiful islands that I've ever seen. Um, and NASA has actually studied all the waters of the world via satellite. And this is the clearest water in the world. You don't have to go all the way to, uh, to the Pacific Ocean to see it, um, you, you can see it right here. This is only a 40-minute flight from Miami. And the thesis is that we can build uh, basically the Hamptons of, of uh, Miami and, and Palm Springs. Um, and we've actually built it. Um, a friend of mine and a business partner, uh, Nadim Ash, actually bought this island in the financial crisis uh, in 2009 and committed to build it. And when I met him, he hadn't started it. And I had my birthday party there, invited a lot of my friends. Everyone fell in love with it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to invest. I'm going to buy in. Let's go. So we got Joseph Durant, one of the famous French architect and designer, to design the entire, all of the buildings and the homes. Um, it, it is absolutely stunning. And I invite all of you to come visit as soon as we're done. Um, and we just got Norman Foster, the famous architect, to come to the island, and he's fallen in love with the island, and he's designed the 150-person restaurant. Um, we built a marina uh, bigger than, uh, bigger than uh, uh, St. Bart's. Uh, you can actually bring you know, uh, yachts of any size, boats of any size here. All of that infrastructure is going into place. And this is the airport. The airport can actually land uh, G650s, and it's something as an insight for our smart islands is each of these island projects needs to have its own airport and customs. So we actually got that done with the Bahamian government. 
There is um, our own customs and airport, and people can land here from anywhere in the world. They don't have to land somewhere else and then have you know, you know, hours of, of uh, logistics to get there. Just in, in closing, I want to basically uh, mention that one of our next projects is an island that is bigger than Manhattan. Uh, we're in the middle of negotiating the, the, uh, the treaty, essentially, but it will be a 99-year lease with the nation uh, to basically create the equivalent of our first network uh, state uh, that you can all move to. So thank you so much.